All right, what do we need to know in order to get the most out of this course? Um, having a little bit of rest knowledge would be really helpful. Uh, I don't go into exactly how all the low level parts of rest work. And what I mean by that is like, I don't explain how to do a for loop or how like if statements work or how like, you know, what, what exactly an enum or a struct is. It's more of, um, okay, knowing those very basics, uh, here's how to put them together and then use this framework uh, and some of the libraries to uh, to then put together a website. Um, so do you need to have like completed the book, for example? Uh, no, but uh, would it be helpful to have gone through at least several chapters or potentially do this in parallel? Yes, absolutely. So if you decide to try to uh, take this course without prior rest knowledge, I highly recommend uh, as soon as you reach something where it's sort of like hard to understand or you don't really know what's going on, um, that's a great time to sort of like pause, switch over to reading the book, um, uh, send a message asking like maybe where to go find more information for that, and then uh, we'll, we'll get you set on the right track. Now. The other side of it is the web development side. You do absolutely do not need any experience with WebAssembly, um, with U.RS, uh, or basically with any kind of like web development with uh, with Rust. Um, having some web experience does help, like in JavaScript, for example. I do use JavaScript as the language of comparison when uh, comparing different things for like, oh, this is like a Redux store, for example, or like the components and like when they re-render and life cycles, uh, just having very basic, like basically um, having tried or played around with React, for example, would be extremely helpful. Um, and then besides that, I, I think that's all you really need to get uh, to get a lot out of uh, out of this app. Um, we are going to there's going to be one section where we have you start running something in Docker. Uh, that's to get an API and database set up on your own system. Uh, if you're familiar with that, that will you know you probably won't even have to watch that video if you're unfamiliar with that we do try to set you up so you can install it and get it running on your own uh so i think that's everything that you would need to know to get into this and get the most out of it so uh i look forward to starting this course with you uh and i will see you in there bye